So, hello. Um, it is March, still, uh, and um, March is Nano Renmo, and it's March thirtieth, so Nano Renmo um, ends in two days. And, um, like usual, uh, I haven't started my NaNoWriMo project yet. Uh, I always start things either way too early or way too late. Uh, I have made a little, um, uh, I've made the project, right? Uh, I've I've done a little bit of configuration to link it to HIO, um, but I haven't started on it really. Um, so I figured I'd stream uh, so that I would actually uh, work on it a little bit. So, yeah, uh, this is, um, it's an idea that I had years ago at this point. Um, and it's, uh, I mean, it's a one-off idea, and so it's the kind of thing I feel like I could do in two days. Um, Basically, you have uh, a, a documentary, one of these oral histories, and it's an oral history of this uh, motorcycle gang in a small town. And so Japanese motorcycle gang culture is extremely uh, strange. So there's already that. Um, and then small because it's a little bit fragmented geographically, small town motorcycle culture could be even stranger because it could be, um, it could have all of these elements that don't, don't appear elsewhere that are cultural. Um, and some of the strangeness comes from like, uh, you tend to join a m motorcycle gang, just like any other juvenile delinquent gang in like middle school, uh, and then the culture of these gangs, basically little kids, um, is based in part on what the other gangs are doing, in 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 part on media depictions, initially of the yakuza, but then later on media depictions of juvenile delinquent gangs, which themselves were sensationalized and order to make them into entertainment. This is a thriving genre. Um, and so there's this feedback loop that, that makes these youth gangs weirder. And so you go into the thing thinking, okay, this is like a weird little gang in this little town, and they're going to talk about when they're young and crazy, but they all seem real old now um, and crotchety, like... like they're they're stuck in their glory days of being teenagers, uh, but you get stranger and stranger elements, sort of glomming onto the story because as a as a motorcycle gang, they're not um, very good. And part of that is they're in this little small town, so they can only fight over turf with the other gang from the little small town. Um, who just, you know, went to the other middle school. Uh, and, and that's very parochial. parochial. Um, and so, uh, you know, you have weird stuff happening in the town, and you're thinking, okay, these are all disconnected, whatever was memorable at the time from 50 years ago or whatever. Uh, this is all local color. Um, or you get things that are explicitly, it, as the story progresses you realize, 
oh, this isn't actually a documentary. This is like magical realism. Um, and I hope to hint it with like sort of the scratchy, uh, the scratchy line work. If you've seen Blood Ocean, which is a game that I've uh, that I made in the past, uh, it was originally going to be another Nano Renmo. Uh, you'll r recognize sort of the style, which is if I just need to sketch something that kind of looks like this style. In fact, let me just go through it, show you what I'm talking about, and not assume that you've played my. Uh, weird little games that nobody plays. So, I mean, that's the color, which is only in the game, it's only in the end. Okay, so this is like, so this style, which is very spare, uh, it, it, the stylistic thing in this where there's no color and then there's only color in certain things uh, very little detail um, yeah so I was planning on doing it in a sort of something like that um, only with um, a little more detail because I was going to have more still images. I was going to save time by kind of breaking into manga panels or doing sort of a moving manga thing where, where I add panels on top of each other. Um, and thus I, I have fewer redraws and so I can have more detail. I was thinking of doing something sort of like that. Um, Anyway, uh, I, I feel like, in theory, I have enough content to just make it. And uh, since it's all going to be little unrelated vignettes, uh, the, the re really the main thing that I'm worried about story-wise is running out of vignettes. But I could literally just add them in the middle later if I wanted to do a, a full release. Like, I could release this as sort of the demo version for, for uh, Nano Renmo. I didn't even explain what Nano Renmo is. Um, it's the uh, visual novel um, uh, it's a visual novel version of Nano Remo or Nano Rimo. Uh, and so it's it's a it basically a VN game jam for a month. Uh, Ren comes from Ren I uh, because dating sims are called Ren I games or Ren I simulation. Ren I means pure love. Um, the, the I part is love. So Ren part is pure, right? Um, and and so Ren Pi is a pun on Ren I, right? And so because of that dating something and because of Ren Pi, which is the dominant um for for outside of Japan, it's the dominant engine for, for uh VNs. Um so we c you know, that's the connection. Uh and Yeah, anyway, um, I'm babbling because I, uh, I kind of don't want to start. But, uh, let's just start. I'm just giving... I was going to give them all normal person uh, surnames. So... Uh, 
Let's see. Because all, all my background comes from anime, where, where they specifically have weird names. I'm trying to think of normal... normal-ass Japanese surnames. Um... Tanaka. Uh, Mori. So I feel like to get number one, Takeshi is generally a first name. I think it's only a first name. So beat Takeshi is Yeah, okay. Um and Kazuo is uh is a first name. See, I want to get like normal, and but I also want to get like old guy. And I guess uh, last names uh, tend to stay pretty constant across generations. Um, what about I don't know, and I, because I, I don't want to pick, like, names of famous figures from history, even though I could think of some, because that's the same, or that's a similar problem, it's like, oh, you just got this name from, from that, uh... I had all these names in my head the other night. Jeez. Why am I not... So... I'll just explain a different thing while I'm trying to think of a name. Um, my plan is to have... Um, kind of a two different styles that are interleaved. So you have the segments that are generally literally just the same single still frame of all these guys sitting on their tatami mats. Um, and that's like the interview stage. So the interviewer asks questions and, and the guys start to tell stories or they they talk amongst themselves right but once you're into the stories you get uh, a different style um a sort of moving manga style um that then i i think i'm gonna have sort of ha have a dark background and and then light media on top of it just to give it a different look and and maybe you know hard lines in the in the outside and then soft lines in in the in the stories themselves so which actually makes the stories themselves in a way uh more realistic even though they're more impressionistic 
Uh, let's see. What about, you know what, why am I even doing this? I can just Google most common Jap Japanese surnames. Sato, Suzuki, and Takahashi are the <laughs> uh, I would normally would normally do Sat Sato Oh yeah, there is a long mark, so it is. It's just it wasn't reproduced in, in the Google preview. see more here and I'll give them I may not use all of these I already have ta Tanaka Ito And then next is Yamamoto and Nakamura. And then Kobayashi. I didn't realize that was a real common name. Okay, well, I think that's enough characters to start off with. Because I gotta draw these guys. So this may actually be too many. Anyway. Okay.
so I'm thinking there are two, um, So... So I'm thinking we'll jump right into fun games at that point. Uh. I don't know, I haven't even... Uh, yeah, I did a lot of work this morning, so I think this is going to be the end of my session for today. Um, hopefully I will be able to make more progress tomorrow, but one way or another I'm going to finish this game. I may just not do it by the end of the month. Anyway, bye.